sister. Um, she's also one of my commissioners, she wanted you to know, although I will tell you that she works for nothing, so uh, otherwise we'd have a conflict. But nevertheless, um, somebody once said that uh, girls are closest to their father and uh, boys to their mothers. I don't know if that's true. Uh, we were both close to both of them, I think. But uh, I do remember at your wedding, and you referenced Daddy, who had died only a year ago, a year earlier or something, more times than I did. So presumably that's true. Anyways, Mark, thank you. Uh, good evening and happy holidays to all of you. Uh, I hope the new year brings you great success and many blessings. Uh, Minister Shai, Mayor Barkat, uh, it's an honor to be here with you today. Um, and what I want for the year 5772 is the New York Yankees and the New York Mets did a little bit better than they did in the year 5771. <laughs> Anyways, um, it is an honor to be here uh, with you for the dedication of this beautiful new building and for Marjorie and me. It's a day that has uh, been a long time in making. Uh, we both first became supporters of MDA in the late 1990s, <laughs> thanks to, to Mark and Patty. And uh, Diana Taylor has listened to me go on and on about how this building was being built, but not fast. Uh, Mark, for those of you that don't know, really has been a longtime champion of the American Friends of MDA. And uh, were it not for him, uh, I don't think that we would have known about this great organization and certainly would have focused on it. One of the reasons that we were attracted to the MDA was its spirit of volunteerism and its commitment to treating all people of all religions and nationalities absolutely equally. And that commitment unites men and women of this great organization into a true community of service. And today I join the MDA community, as does my sister, in mourning the tragic passing of a man who so completely embodied MDA's values in expressing our sorrow to his loving family and many friends. MDA Carmel Regional.